Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the winter solstice celebration for North America. And I think all of this will also, all the prayers that we do and everything will also apply to the Southern Hemisphere. So we have the Northern Hemisphere for the winter and the Southern Hemisphere for the summer. And uh, my friend Amarissa that I was telling you about, she's in Australia. She says it is hot there. And so there are all kinds of things that are going on now. So what we're going to do today, for those of you who have not been to one of my gatherings, the first thing we're going to do is to set the heart source. And then we will do Michael's sword. And those of you who have not received Archangel Michael's sword will receive it tonight. We will activate the violet flame around us. All of this is to set in protection and care. And I recommend you do this every day. And then we are all going to gather together in the healing lecture room, which is another element of, protect, of protection. So we're going to have lots of really good stuff happening. And then Ama is going to come in and talk about and do, she's telling me she's going to do some activations. I have no idea what she likes to give me a surprise. And sometimes she says she, you know, here's this stuff, but then she forgets to tell me that somebody else is going to come in and do it. But she says she, she's laughing. She says she's going to come in and do it. And then I will set the stage so that people who are only hearing the recording, and when I say only, it's because you're going to miss the invocations from Amarissus. And she gave me a good explanation of why she is not wanting this to go out on social media. And it is because of the sacredness that's here. And y'all have probably noticed this with social media. You share something that may be sacred to you and somebody immediately tries to tear it apart. So we're going to collect the energy together and we want it to take form. And when you are bringing energy together and you share it with the wrong people at the wrong time, it makes it difficult to bring together and form. So that's what's going to happen. So now, for those of you who don't know about the heart source, with the heart source, when you are in your heart source, it's a quick seven steps, but when you are in your heart source, you are in an area of protection your intuition increases, you are in the present, totally in the present, and you can listen with your inner ears, not the physical inner ears, but your inner intuitive ears, and you can hear or sense or experience, I'm going to call it the mind of God that is within you, so that you know what is truth or not. Do that when you're listening to the news and watch what happens, or you're listening to other people and you can figure out what it is that's truth. You can say, well, that doesn't sound quite right. Or, no, that's not it for me. I've used the heart source in many times to listen to people talk about, oh, there's going to be this horrible this and that and the other. And I get, no, I don't think there is. And I love it when I'm right in that area because we don't want all the horrible stuff. So here we begin. Those of you who know the heart source, just say heart source. And for everyone else, and we all do this, all of us who even say heart source, move into the front of your heart chakra, right there in the center of your chest. Heart source. Now move, go around into the back and go into the back of your heart chakra. Now, somebody's a little bit too far down. So if you think you're having a hard time getting into the back of your heart chakra, move up a little bit. Oh, there you went. Now the back of the heart chakra is a very special place. Keep going, keep going further back, further back, deep within the back of the heart chakra. And it's like you're going through a hallway or a tunnel or an alleyway. And then suddenly you step into this magnificent, infinite space, which is your sacred space. 
This is a very protected space in you. One person described it as seeing an angel with a with a sword of fire protecting from anything of low vibration trying to get in. The only ones that can come into the back of your heart center are those who you invite. So be careful who you invite. It's a very sacred space. Now move around to the front, go into the front of your third eye, your brow chakra. Just go deep within. And while you're doing that, ask to see the violet flame or touch the violet flame. With the book, Hidden Structures, which Amia channeled through me, is that's where I discovered that the violet flame is actually within the deepness of the front of your third eye. And now go around the back and go into the back of the third eye. Good. And now connect the heart and the third eye with a beam of energy. Just send that beam of energy right up there. It knows where to go. It's right in the center. And now send that beam of energy straight up to the center of the universe. You don't have to know where that is. It knows where to go. And now holding all of that in place, bring that beam of energy straight down into the center of the earth. Good. This is your heart source. Practice it. If, you have, if you're new to this, practice it. Listen to this part a lot and practice it. And now, the gift of Archangel Michael's sword. For those of you who have had the sword, you simply say, I am the sword, and it is activated. For those of you who are waiting for this exciting gift, ask our Archangel Michael to be with you. And ask him for his sword and just hand out, put out your dominant hand. And he will place the hilt of the sword in your hand and just move it up to where it's right in front of your heart. Point up. Now, for those of you who are unaware of what the power that Michael's sword has, the first thing to know is no one can get his sword and use it for ill. It is used to transmute energy and it cannot be misused. It just deactivates. Now with the sword, place it within your heart. It's going to go throughout your energy field. Now whenever you say, I am the sword, it activates. If you are going shopping in the grocery store, and let's say you forgot something for a big festive dinner, or there's like 35 million people, it seems like in the grocery stores, there probably is this weekend. You can say, I am the sword, and it clears a swath of energy wherever you walk, because you are the sword of Archangel Michael. It will transmute energy there. Even when you're driving a car, or you're sitting on a subway, or you're on a bus, wherever you go, you are clearing energy. And now the last thing we're going to do for protection is Violet flame activate along the seventh layer of my aura. You will be completely encased within the violet flame. Feel that sense of protection around you. It is there. And now that you have experienced it even once, you can simply say, heart source, I am the sword, violet flame activate, and it is there. You can even roll it all into one thing. You could even say protection. And as long as you know that those are what that's what you mean by that, you can do it. Let's do one other thing with the heart source. Heart source, expand to the seventh layer of my aura, or when I hold my hands out, my arms out, the tips of my fingers, whichever is larger. There you go. Now, the healing lecture room is something I borrowed from the Melchizedek method, if any of you have used that. So all of us, whoever will listen to this recording, even all of us here, there is a floor of light below us. There is a canopy of light above us. 
there are pillars of light in each corner. And surrounding the perimeter of this healing lecture room are members of the angelic kingdom. And right now, it looks like all of them are from Archangel Michael's band of angels. And they have their sword drawn and they are actually facing outward from pillar to pillar to pillar to pillar to pillar. You are gathered in here. I call this the healing lecture room because we do both healing, which is not the kind we're going to do today, but lecture room, which is mostly what's going to happen today. And now there is a pillar of light in the center. And in that pillar of light are coming all manner of beings to join us, to be with us, to witness and to be in this energy and to contribute their energy to everything that is happening today. And I see, um, well, I usually see Buddha and Yeshua coming in together. For those of you who don't know, I have a very strong Catholic background. I was a Catholic sister for 20 years. So that's part of my of my life and knowing much about the Christian scriptures and Christian theology from a Catholic perspective. And so Yeshua, who is a good friend of Buddha, they're brothers, they come in together, usually laughing and waving at everyone. And with them are Mother Mary, Kuan Yin, Athena, White Buffalo, Calf Woman. There are the Cho hands of the rays that are coming in. The elders of the race are coming in. Whoever it is that you honor as a guide, an angel, a saint, a master, ascended masters are coming in because this is all for you. And they're joining us in the central pillar, which you might think is small, but it's not small. It's infinite. It can expand. And it is doing so now. And they're just walking in excited. Very, very excited about what is happening. Let's just let them walk in. And you might get a sense who's there. Who would you like to have there? I hope you can feel or experience the joy that is happening at this time. Wonderful joy. Excitement. And now our beloved Alma is saying, pull up a chair. We have the lecture room going today. Pull up a chair. And in your inner world, this chair in the healing lecture room is perfect for you. And it's going to be, everybody's going to have a different chair. It will fit your body perfectly. She says you may have a cup of tea, coffee, water, whatever it is you wish to have. There, being there, ready to listen. And she is saying the first thing that we are going to do is call in your healing team. And now the encodement team of your healing team, encodement technicians, please attune your encodement system to the message coming in today. And just allow that to happen. Healing team. Today is the declaration to release karma from our lives and from the planet. Harmonize our encodement system to releasing all karma. For those who are having trouble in this area, please remove all of the artificial encodements which are holding that concept of karma within you. And you don't have to worry about if you do not know what encodements are, your healing team is still doing it. Mm -hmm. 
repair any damaged or altered natural encodements which are interfering or will interfere with the release of karma. And here's an important one for many of us. Please create and then activate natural encodements for the release of karma from us. So healing team, we ask you to find and bring back to us any and all pieces of ourselves which we lost, which have anything to do with the difficulty in releasing karma. So we want all those pieces back to make it easier to release. Clean, repair, and heal all pieces. and fully integrate all pieces within us. And now harmonize our encodement system, please. Those last steps were the basic plug-in. Now connect from your heart to the central pillar. This connects you to everyone. And I ask you also, if you would send a beam of energy from your heart to my heart, Ooh, thank you. Lots of energy. The next one you hear will be Amma, the Divine Mother. My precious ones, I am Amma, the Divine Mother of the Divine Mothers, and I am your mother. Are you excited about today? Especially at this time, wherever it is that you are living at this time. Whatever time zone it is, you are in the now. There's going to be a special invocation given today. It is actually a reading from someone else who has given the invocation. I want you to know that this invocation was given by all that is in every way that you can imagine. And it is for all of you and for all of the planet. But I wish to prepare you for this invocation. First, I want to tell you that this is the kind of invocation that you also may bring in. Each one of you have the power, the ability, just not always the courage to bring in invocations for yourself and for the planet. You could call them commands if you would like to. You have that power to invoke for yourself, to command for yourself, to invoke for loved ones, the planet, the galaxies. You have that power within you. Truth was stated by Master Yeshua when he said, if you have the faith of a grain of mustard seed, you may move this mountain from here to there. And I'm going to have to add to that. You have the power to move mountains without causing earthquakes. How about that? Without causing damage. You have the power to move the mountains within yourself, which may have been mohills as they began, and to move them out of yourself. And that is what you are going to do today. All you have to do is allow it to happen. You are love. You are love. Let me say that again. You are love. And as love, you have more power than you could ever know. Because it is love which creates 
the beautiful things that you see, the beautiful people that you see, the beautiful sunsets and the sunrises that you see. That is what love does. It is only love which can create in that way. You are in your heart source right now. If you're concerned that you're not, simply say heart source. And know that in everything that is said today, every activation, every attunement that is given to you today, whether you hear the words or you are simply in the energy of it, apply to you as long as you allow it to occur. The blessings of this time, which is the time that is a crossroad from humanity in this epic of your planet's existence. It is here and you are here and what you have brought with you by your presence here will spread out into the entire planet and into the galaxy, which is here. So first, take a few deep breaths. And I will use this one's voice since I have no voice box except through others. Let us give the sound of the universe. Oh. Oh. And now into your first chakra. And into your second chakra. And into your third chakra. And into your fourth chakra. And into your fifth chakra. And into your sixth chakra. And into your seventh chakra. And into your eighth chakra. And now the clearing of the pranic tube, take a deep breath, bring in energy from above and below and bring it to your heart. Oh. And into your horror line, which contains your entire encodement system for this lifetime. Oh. And now for your connection to all of humanity and all of the universe three times. Oh. Oh. Feel your connection to this planet, not just to the ground, but her very consciousness, her very life. 
Feel your connection to all that grows from the ground. Feel that energy coming into you and their laughter and their joy of their life. Connect yourself now to all the waters of the planet and all that are within them. And that includes the salt and the algae and the substance of water, hydrogen, and oxygen together. And to give energy to within the water, all of those microbes which are growing and developing to eat and neutralize nuclear waste, plastic, anything that does not belong in the water. Oh. And now to the air so that all can be cleared from the wonderful oxygen that is here, that there is the perfect balance of oxygen and nitrogen and hydrogen and carbon dioxide. Oh. to all that walk upon the planet, to all that fly above her, to all that crawl upon the ground and turn into wonderful things such as caterpillars to butterflies, hatch from eggs, come from the very mother themselves. And now to all of humanity, as humanity comes to stillness now in the consciousness that is, this is the Om of Three. Oh. Oh. And now to the source of all who created the Om for creation itself. Oh. Oh. And now with your very energy, reach out to touch source who is reaching out to touch you. And this happens in the silence of your own own. You are now being gifted with the attunements which will flow through you, anchoring in what we have done, again, in the silence of your own home. Your encodement team is now preparing your encodements for the reception of the energy of today's message from the beloved Amarissus Kamara. Open your heart 
to her words. You may be able to hear her voice. For all of you who have not, who are not here and cannot listen to her voice, know that in the silence which is going to be occurring is that you sit here in your heart in a mode of reception and simply receive. Receive the energy which is coming in from what her words are. You do not have to know them. Simply receive. And those of you who are listening to the recording and you were not able to listen to the invocation, be here with us. And allow, just ask for the energy of the invocation to flow through you as you are there in your heart source as a willing channel for this amazing dispensation of the release of karma from our lives. And we do this in silence. Now see yourself standing before your own personal counsel, the counsel in which you planned your life in this incarnation and all other incarnations. And your soul self is with you. As of course it was your soul self they worked with. But you and this incarnation are standing there And a member of your council gives to your soul self a cloak to drape around your shoulders. Notice that cloak, the color, the weight, the shimmering. It contains the energy of continuing activations within you. And now your soul self brings to you a medallion on a chain and fastens it around your neck. 
notice what this medallion is. Feel its imprint upon your energy. And now your soul self comes to you and asks you to place your hands outward, holding them together, holding them together as they're going to place something in there. And then they do. And within it that they have placed is a symbol or replica of the planet. And they ask you to from now on. Hold the planet within your heart and send her love daily. And you are invited to place this replica within your heart. And now, focusing upon your heart chakra. Know that you are connected to every being upon this planet. Whether they are human, animal, plant, fish, shell, mountain. Feel the consciousness of them all and experience as much as you can the oneness of which you are part of and whole at the same time. A part and a whole. A paradox of life. And now your soul self and your counsel, counsel stand and with great love they bow to you and thank you for what you are doing and bless you. And now as you return to the lecture room, your encodement team continues to harmonize your encodements to the amazing changes that are bringing about with you in this invocation and the release of karma. And Amma, the Divine Mother, says, and unleash your joy. And so it is. I want to thank you all for joining me for this wonderful and rather amazing sacredness of what we had today.
Ama did not tell me what she was going to do ahead of time. I would have probably rebelled. <laughs> but that's what Ama does with me. She doesn't tell me a whole lot because I can sometimes get a little nervous about it, especially when it calls with singing. I am honored that you came and experienced this. Thank you so much. Blessings to you. Oh, and Ama says, anytime you think there's karma and sin, and sin remind yourself that that's a lie. Mm -hmm. It is all illusion. Mm -hmm. Take care, blessed ones. Good Thank night. You, Dr. Kathy. Kathy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. You're welcome. Thank Many you so much. Thank Many you. blessings. Thank you, Kathy. Thank Thank you, Kathy. Kathy. Many blessings. Thank much you. Much love. I'll take all the blessings. <laughs> yes. <Love> you. <laughs> Thanks, Bye -bye. Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.